We've got a MacBook A1706 that has no backlight. Let's just take a look and see what it is they said was wrong with this machine. So I'm going to look up their ticket. And over here in their ticket information, it says, We took it to a Mac authorized dealer and they tested the fuse in our board that is responsible for backlight and found that to be the issue. They said we needed to replace the main logic board. The display does not work, but it seems to turn on. I spoke with someone from your, with your team over the phone, and they said you could fix it. Now, there's two things here that strike me as odd. The first thing that strikes me as odd is that they said that the fuse was the issue with the board, and I don't think that the fuse is the issue with the board. So if we take a look over here, I'm going to open up the board view application for you all. What's going on here is this is a current sensing circuit. So over here, you have a resistor right after the fuse, and this resistor is going to have a really small voltage drop across it. Very small, but that voltage drop is going to be dependent and directly related to the amount of current the system is using. So before the resistor and after the resistor, we've got a trace going to the LED driver. So the LED driver is going to be able to tell the voltage difference from the beginning of the resistor to the end, and therefore it's going to be able to calculate the current that it's taking. So if you ever have an issue where there's a short circuit or there was too much current being taken, rather than the fuse blowing on all these machines, the current sense circuit is going to say you're taking too much, we're turning the entire system off. And that is a pretty nice design. But what that means is that the backlight fuse on these is never going to blow. Ever. And I'll show it to you right now. So we're going to find F8400 on our board view diagram here. Software done by Paul Daniels at pldaniels.com. Don't delay. Check out Paul Daniels at pldaniels.com for all your software and Australian MacBook repair needs. So as you can see over here, the backlight fuse is going to be located right in this little section of the board, right over here. And I'm going to unplug power, because remember, you never want to have power plugged in when you test such things. We're going to put the voltmeter to resistance mode, and we're going to see what the backlight fuse measures. As you can see, the backlight fuse is 0 0.3 ohms, which means the fuse is working just fine, which means that the Mac authorized dealer was wrong. So now what we're going to do is try and figure out why it is that we have no backlight on this machine. So first thing I'm going to do is see if there's a short to ground on backlight out. 105 ohms. That's actually fairly low. That's not a full short circuit to ground, but it is far worse than what I would expect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to unplug the screen and see if the short goes away at all. So we're going to check backlight output again. 107 ohms. So it's not the screen, nor the screen cable, nor the backlight that's shorted. And I check the output, which is over here, so I can check on any one of these capacitors, and I can see what the resistance to ground is. Now we're going to just take the board out of the case and see what it looks like once the board is out of the case. I'm just kind of curious, how many of you that are watching this stream out there in YouTube chat land and Twitch chat land and Vimeo, how many of you are surprised and taken aback that the Mac authorized dealer said something was the problem that was not the problem? Now, they said something else as well, which is that you'd have to replace this whole thing. So let's see if they're right about that as well. Now, one of the things that's strange about what it is they prescribed is they said that it's just the, it's the fuse that's bad, but you have to replace the board. I mean, that, that's, it's wrong, but it's wrong in very strange ways. A, if the problem is just the fuse, you shouldn't have to replace the entire board for that because it's just the fuse, right? And B, well, it wasn't actually the fuse. I mean, if you said that there's an issue with the backlight circuit because there's a big hole in the board, then that's fine. It's very interesting because if you were wrong about the fact that it's just a fuse, then you should at least be wrong. Or you should be right about the fact that it's easy to fix. But to be wrong about both at the same time is just fairly interesting to me. It's that level of silliness is something that I don't even expect from Apple at this point. All right, now usually our issue is going to be a backlight output capacitor. But these all look fine. Let's take a look at the ones on the other side. Those all look fine as well. So one of the things that I would do at this point is put some power into backlight output. Remember, backlight output can take up to 52 volts, which means fun. So we are going to put some power in there and see what gets warm. Good night, thank you. All right, putting out five amps at uh, one volt. 
most common issue with backlight output is going to be something around the backlight capacitors. Oh, there we go. So it's something over here. You hear that sizzling? Yeah, this is where the, the hopefully this, I still haven't switched over to the other DPA because I've not had time to yet. But I'm going to take my omnidirectional mic, put it up there, and let's see if you can hear this. Headphone listeners alert. feeling in a just destructive mood tonight. So I am going to maul these capacitors off with this ridiculous soldering tip. This is absolute savagery. If, if you're not going to snitch and tell me which of the capacitors is bad, then you all must go. That's right. You don't want to snitch? You don't want to make it clear which capacitor is the bad one? You're all going to get it. Oh, look at that. BTFO. That felt good. It feels really powerful using this tip. It's like driving a smart car your whole life and then being handed a tank. There's just fun stuff you're going to want to do with it. And this is one of them. The power. It's too much power. Let that be a lesson to you short-circuited capacitors that you should just snitch out the one that's bad. You should have snitched. Now you all going in e-waste. That's what you get. All right, let's dry off the alcohol over here.
Watch all these caps flow into place. Is that not beautiful? Now we're going to see if we get anything on the screen when we turn it on. So we got the mat over here under the machine. I'm going to move the fume extractor out of the way. We're going to plug in this USB-C amp meter and see what happens. Do we get backlight or back smoke? What do you know? An Apple logo. We have an Apple logo on this MacBook. It's clearly visible, which means that we fixed it. When this individual went to the Mac authorized dealer, what they were told is that A, the fuse was bad, and B, the entire board had to be replaced. What was actually wrong with it is that the fuse was fine, but there was a short to ground on backlight output due to a bad capacitor. A capacitor is not a fuse. And you do not have to replace the board to replace a bad capacitor. For shits and giggles, I decided to be kind of a dumbass and scrape all the capacitors off because I was having fun with my extra wide tip. It's always fun to have fun with your extra wide tip Ever from time to time on Friday night. And I just decided to knock all them off. And re but I really could have just gotten by by replacing one. But at the end of the day, the issue with this machine was not a bad fuse, it was a capacitor. Even if the Apple authorized dealer was correct and it was simply a bad fuse, why would you actually tell the customer that you have to replace the entire board because of a fuse? It doesn't make sense. Usually it's, well, this is really complicated and hard. That's why we're, we have to replace the board. But to actually admit that the issue is a fuse but that you can't fix it, it really doesn't make a damn bit of sense. Like most of the stories that my customers come here with like most of the diagnoses that they get from the Genius Bar. But such is life. This machine works. I'm going to ultrasonic the board, clean off all the flux and all that, reassemble it, test it, make sure everything's good, send it back to them, and uh, another happy customer. But don't touch that dial, because we've got to talk to you today about some more products from store.rossmangroup.com. Store.rossmangroup.com is this business's one and only sponsor. At store.rossmangroup.com, you can buy tools like the eye socket. The eye socket allows you to check an iPhone 10 board that you're working on without having to re-solder the entire thing back together. With the iPhone 10, the board is soldered together in a very pain in the ass fashion. But this tool allows you to take a known good iPhone 10 bottom board and have it run with the top board that you're working on without having to solder everything back together. It's a tool that's going to save you a lot of time. In addition to that, we've got the iPhone iBridge test cable. The iBridge allows you to get multimeter readings when you have your board plugged in with a test screen, camera, etc. And is available for the 6, 6 Plus, 6S. 6S Plus, 7, 7 Plus, and more. Further, if you've ever had an issue where you needed to conformal code something because you didn't want two things touching or there was a pad under a chip and you, the, the trace had the solder mass knocked off of it and you need to re-insulate it, well, check out our LYUV H900 conformal coating solder mask at store.rosmangroup.com. Now, for a limited time only, we've actually got the laser pointer pen in stock that goes with it at a low, low price of $7.96. That's right, folks. For $7.96 plus $5.99 on the mechanics and formal coating and solder mask, you can have a setup that allows you to insulate small parts of the board from other parts of the board when you're soldering. And that solder mask is heat resistant. Once you UV it in place, it's not going to spread around because you put hot air on it. It's awesome. It's amazing. And it's sold only at store.rossmangroup.com and probably a hundred or one thousand other websites. But you want to buy it from us, right? You want to buy it from us. It's a great decision. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Excellent at data recovery, not the best camera. What happened, Steve? Dude, you lost your MacBook box right on my fucking stomach. Oh. What do you think is gonna happen if you're standing there? It's a but you didn't run through it, you went through it and pushed through it. Jesus.